There's no denying that snakes are terrifying. Few people actively like them, and some people are even scared of them. In fact, it's one of the most common phobias in the world. But no matter how creepy or strange you may know snakes to be, there are some that are even worse. These are snakes you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Yellow Anaconda some of you might recall the 90s film, Anaconda, where J-Lo and Ice Cube almost get eaten by a massive snake. Well, as the title pretty much reveals, that huge snake was an anaconda. And these huge snakes are not merely the product of the Hollywood imagination, and they also like to eat things other than 90s MTV stars. The yellow anaconda is a kind of boa snake, and it lives in South American rainforests. It is one of the largest snakes in the world. And is a relative of the world's heaviest snake, the green anaconda. This snake is super dangerous, but it is not actually venomous like some snakes. Instead, it kills by constriction. This means it wraps itself around the body of its prey, using the muscles in its massive body to tighten the coil even further every time the prey breathes out. The anaconda's body is highly sensitive, and it listens closely to the heartbeats of the prey until the poor animal dies of heart failure. Then the anaconda knows it's safe to go ahead and swallow it whole. And it has been known to eat huge animals like caiman, jaguar, and even humans. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Worm Snake The worm snake is pretty much on the total opposite end of the scale to the anaconda. These little snakes measure less than 14 inches in length and could easily be mistaken for worms. They usually have a dark brown color on the top, with light brown, pink, or orange color on the bottom side. The worm snake is also often mistaken for other small snakes, such as the earth snake and the brown snake, but these wormy looking guys are non-venomous, so you don't have too much to worry about if you run into one. Although the average bird might be in for a nasty surprise if they think they've caught a tasty worm by the tail, as they are still able to put up a fight when they need to. These snakes are known as fossorial snakes, which means that they spend most of their lives in loose and rocky earth or buried beneath forest leaves, and other things you might find on the forest floor. They are very secretive, and their favorite meal is in fact earthworms, which must be pretty weird for the earthworm being eaten by a giant version of itself. Number 13. Elephant Trunk Snake the elephant trunk snake is another non-venomous snake, although this time it is an aquatic snake. Did you know that snakes live in water too? Well, there are a lot of snakes in all kinds of bodies of water, and one of them is this unusual looking snake. They live in fresh waters and brackish waters in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. And they can mainly be found in or near rivers, streams, canals, lagoons, and estuaries. This snake's skin is considered highly desirable by hunters, so their numbers are always low due to overhunting. And what's more, they are often consumed as a delicacy in many parts of Asia. They can grow to a huge 8 feet in length, and as is the case with some snake species, the females are much larger than the males, being almost twice as long on average. They are usually brown colored with a yellow underside, and they have a head which is broad and flat. They look a little bit like a boa, but you can tell the difference by the width of the head. In a boa, the head is wider than the body, but in the elephant trunk snake, it is the same width. Number 12. Eastern Hognose the eastern hognose snake is a North American snake, which belongs to the group of colubrid snakes. It mainly lives in woodlands and forests, or near the coast. It can also be found in human developments, such as farms and fields. They generally prefer regions which are dry and sandy. They have been popular in the pet trade for some time, and uncontrolled collecting of the eastern hognose is a threat to the species, although for now their numbers remain healthy in the wild. This is another snake where the females are 
longer than the males, with the biggest sized lady snakes hitting 28 inches, leaving no doubt who wears the pants in the eastern hognose households of the world, although snakes probably don't need pants since they are famous for not having any legs. These snakes come in a variety of colors, including yellow, red, orange, brown, gray, black, or olive green colored. They are called hognose snakes because of the distinctive upturned nose, which is a feature of this snake and makes it somewhat resemble a pig. They are diurnal, that is, daytime snakes, and otherwise hide under rocks or soil when they are resting. Number 11. Leaf-nosed snake. Another weird snake with an unusual nose is the leaf-nosed snake. This is a medium-sized snake that lives in the trees of Madagascar, which is the only place in the world you can find this snake, and it lives in both deciduous dry forests and rainforests there. The leaf nose appears only in the females of the species, as the males have a brown and yellow color with a tapered nose, while the females have a gray pattern with the distinctive leaf-shaped snout. This is a venomous snake, and its fangs are in the rear of its mouth. Its venom is not deadly to humans, but it is known to cause severe pain in those who have been bitten by it. It's quite a mysterious snake, and not many studies of it have been undertaken yet. So, if you're a snake lover, here's an opportunity to specialize in this strange snake and teach the world about it. It is an ambush predator, and it uses its coloring to camouflage itself in the forest before striking passing prey. They prefer to eat lizards and frogs to rodents, and it is known to be a snake which does not like living in captivity. Number 10. Flying Snake Here's a snake that sounds like it has come right out of your worst nightmares. The flying snake. They might not be able to walk, but now snakes are flying and we've all got something to worry about. They belong to the family Colubridae, the largest snake family, which accounts for 51% of all known snakes alive today. It's not quite true to say that this snake flies. It is more of a glider, but it's still a pretty impressive thing for a snake to do. It has rigid scales on its belly, which it uses to grip onto tree bark, allowing it to climb up trees quickly. It then goes to the end of a branch and hangs in the J shape before selecting a landing spot and pushing itself into the air. They use this skill both for hunting and for keeping away from predators. This also saves them a lot of energy compared to their snake cousins down on the ground, and the shapes they bend themselves into in the air are actually extremely aerodynamically efficient, meaning they can glide a pretty long way. Number 9. Queen Snake the queen snake lives in North America, and it is a semi-aquatic, non-venomous snake which actually has a whole bunch of different names depending on the region, such as the diamond backwater snake, leather snake, moon snake, North American seven-banded snake, and pale snake. They are very similar in appearance to the garter snake, and so are often confused with that very common snake. In this species, the males and females are similar in size, with females being just slightly bigger, although overall this is not one of the biggest snakes out there, measuring a maximum of about 24 inches. They are always found near sources of clean running water with rocky bottoms, and they cannot tolerate water that drops below 50 Fahrenheit. This is mainly because they are a species that eats pretty much only one thing, which is freshwater crayfish. So the snake lives where the crayfish breed, waiting for young ones to arrive who cannot yet defend themselves with their pincers. They will sometimes eat other food such as frogs, tadpoles, newts, minnows, snails, and fairy shrimp. They use the power of smell to hunt with, and they pick up the scent with their tongues rather than their noses. Number 8. Tentacled Snake the tentacled snake is an aquatic snake that looks like it has too many snakes coming out of its head. These are in fact tentacles. When this snake was first discovered back in the 19th century, it was believed that the tentacles worked as lures to attract prey towards it. But we now know they are mechanoreceptors, which allow the snake to detect the movement of prey. 
This rear fanged snake is native to Southeast Asia, and there are no other snakes in the world which have this unusual tentacle feature. They grow between 20 and 35 inches in length and can be either gray or light tan in color. But it would be hard to see it either way as this snake lives entirely in the murkiest water. They feed exclusively on fish and use venom to kill their prey. Although this venom is not considered dangerous to humans as the venom is specifically developed to kill the fish it eats and has less effect on mammals. These aquatic snakes are well adapted to water and spend their whole lives in it, only needing to come up for air every 30 minutes. The snake also has a unique method of ambush hunting wherein it waits for its prey and then just as the fish realizes the snake is there and goes to swim away, the snake anticipates where the fish will swim and strikes there, rather than striking at where the fish really is, meaning the fish swims right into the venomous bite. Number 7. Hairy Bush Viper the hairy bush viper sounds like the kind of snake that the YouTube algorithm would demonetize and ban in 0.1 seconds, but don't worry, it's just a viper that lives in the bush and looks kinda hairy. Of course, it does not really have hair as that is a trait exclusive to mammals, but it does have a keeled dorsal scale, which kinda makes it seem bristly. In this species, the males are much longer and more slender than the females, reaching lengths of 29 inches. They like to feed on small mammals, lizards, birds, and frogs, and they mostly hunt in trees, but will sometimes go down to the ground to hunt for mammals. Their technique is to hang camouflaged from the tree branch and then curl into an S shape before lunging at their prey in a surprise attack. Then they use their venom to kill the poor creature. Their venom is a neurotoxin and not one we know much about, other than the fact that it can be fatal to humans if antivenom is not administered quickly. It causes severe hemorrhaging of the internal organs, which in case it wasn't obvious is very bad news. Number 6. Spider-tailed viper. A snake mixed with a spider, you say? Well, that sounds like the ultimate nightmare creature, but it does not belong in the world of nightmares, but in this world right here, specifically in the region of western Iran, where it was discovered in 2006. The most distinctive feature of this snake is of course its tail, which is bulb-like and covered in long drooping scales, which make it look like a spider. This spidery tail is then used as a lure to animals who think they've spotted a tasty spider snack, but it is they who have become the snack for the spider-tailed viper, and what is a pretty sneaky move. It works best on birds, and that is what this venomous snake likes to eat best. The first specimen was actually collected back in 1968, but back then it was thought to be another kind of snake, until much more recently when it was recognized as a distinct species of its own. Since then, it has become kind of famous, as David Attenborough featured the snake in one of his BBC nature programs, and it also has a place in Iran's Natural History Museum as a preserved specimen. Number 5. Black Banded Sea Crate the black banded sea crate is also often known as the Chinese sea snake, and it is a venomous snake found in the waters of the western Pacific Ocean. It is quite a common snake that lives mainly in coral reefs, and it is well known not only in China but also Fiji, Singapore, and Japan. It's a nocturnal snake, so it's very rare to see it during the day, but at night they sometimes mass in huge numbers, and it also breathes air so it needs to surface around every six hours. It is not a fast swimmer, so it hunts in the twisting alleys of the coral reef, and sometimes teams up with the yellow goatfish and bluefin trevally to hunt together, flushing out prey for each other. One bite and it's game over for most things, though as this is an extremely venomous snake, its venom is ten times more powerful than King Cobra venom. Luckily, they are peaceful snakes and will rarely attack humans unless provoked. As seems often to be the case, the Japanese see insane super venom as merely an inconvenience, getting in the way of an awesome meal, so this is a popular snake to eat, especially in wintertime, and it is said to replenish a female's womanhood. Eh, whatever that might be. Number 4. Rainbow Snake 
Rainbow snakes live on the coastal plains of the United States, and they are large, non-venomous snakes, which spend a lot of their time in the water. They have smooth scales, which are glossy and blue to black color. They also have three red stripes and yellow markings on the head, which gives them their rainbow appearance. Their tails are spiny, which they use to probe around their native sea. The full length of this snake is as much as 66 inches, with the females being a little larger than the males once again. No? These are super secretive snakes, so they have only very rarely been seen by humans, spending most of their lives in water, where they hide away in aquatic vegetation. They are known to be excellent swimmers, and are also capable of digging, which they sometimes do to bury themselves in mud or sand. They are also known to be pretty chilled out snakes and do not bite when caught. But that doesn't mean you should go out and start collecting rainbow snakes all over the place. They're probably happier right where they are, being sure Hi guys, after all. Number 3. Green Tree Python The green tree python is notable for the diamond-shaped head they have and the irregular pattern of scales. They are also known for their green color, which is particularly vibrant in this snake. A lot of snakes are green, but not many of them are as green as this guy. However, when they are born, they are more of a bright yellow color, or sometimes red or red-brown. The green color develops when they reach between 6 to 12 months old. The reason for the green is that it offers excellent camouflage as they go hunting. While the color of the younger snakes helps protect them against predators by allowing them to blend in with tree bark and the forest floor, they actually have a prehensile tail, a little like some monkeys, and they use this for climbing up trees and catching prey. When they rest, they coil themselves up and hang from tree branches. The tail can also work as a lure, drawing in prey before the head moves in to strike. Number 2. California Red-Sided Garter the California red-sided garter snake is yet another snake in which the females are bigger than the males, and this mid-sized snake can reach lengths of 55 inches. Compared to other garter snakes, the California red-sided garter has big eyes and they also have a red-orange colored head, which is just a little wider than its neck. They are dark olive or black in color, and they have a dorsal stripe which can be yellow or blue. This is a snake that really does not like to be picked up, and is known for a pretty gross defensive behavior when handled, releasing foul-smelling cloacal contents and musk. If this doesn't work, they will quail and strike. They can still bite hard enough. They use this technique to defend themselves from predators such as hawks, crayfish, crows, raccoons, and other snakes such as the California king snake. It was once believed that they were non-venomous, but recent studies have shown they do have toxins in their saliva, which could be venomous to their prey, although it would not likely provoke more than a mild reaction in humans if bitten. They have big teeth, but no way to inject their venom other than by chewing, so they are considered not to be dangerous to humans, unless you decide to just sit there and let the snake chew on you for a long time. Number 1. Southern Copperhead Here's another venomous North American snake, the Southern Copperhead. This snake is a pit viper, which means it can deliver venom directly from a bite. But this snake is not one of the most dangerous ones out there. First of all, they like to deploy a warning bite first to let anyone who is bothering it know that they mean business. The next bite will envenomate though, and the venom is pretty strong. With symptoms including extreme pain, tingling, throbbing, swelling, and severe nausea, muscle and bone tissue can also be damaged and is most painful when the bite happens in hands or feet, or wherever there is not a large muscle mass to absorb the venom. However, it's not all bad news as the venom of this snake has been found to contain something called contortrostatin, which has been proven to halt cancer growth in mice, and now is being tested as a possible cancer treatment in humans. So as long as you don't bother this amazing snake, it may turn out more likely to save your life than end it one day. Which was your favorite snake on this list? Have you ever seen any unbelievable snakes where you live? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!